Now to our GMA cover story. Incredible body positive message getting shared more than a thousand times, a hundred thousand times on Facebook. Former bodybuilder going viral, revealing how not obsessing over a six pack made her so much happier. Here is her story. Bodybuilder to body lover is how Jolene Jones, age 26, began her Facebook post with these atypical before and after photos. The first from 2015 as a competitive bodybuilder. The after from just two weeks ago after on purpose giving up her grueling gym regimen. I felt like I needed to love myself a little more and I wanted to encourage others to love themselves also. Her body acceptance message went viral and received thousands of positive comments, many applauding her beauty and bravery. Jolene, who lives in Montana, started bodybuilding five years ago after peers told her she had too much cellulite. When she was competing, a typical day included meal prepping and counting calories. I was never enough. That's how I felt. I felt like I was never enough. But after becoming sick a year ago, she gained 25 pounds. And once she recovered, her coach told her she had to lose 30 pounds in order to compete again. That's when she had a revelation. And I realized that I didn't enjoy it anymore, and I was just going through the, the motions. It, I wasn't pushing myself anymore, I was just doing it to do it. She now loves her body instead of hating and obsessing over it, and exercises and eats for enjoyment. I let myself go from being controlled by something that's not even tangible, it's all in my head. She now wants to inspire others. Start thanking your body because when I started to thank mine, it made the difference. I love that. Joining us now is Leslie Golden. Leslie is a body image expert and the author of Locker Room Diaries, the naked truth about women, body image, and reimagining the perfect body. Thank you. I love that title as well because it's such a conversation for men and women, especially women, but these types of stories, they seem to really be resonating, Leslie. Yes, I think women are hungry right now for images mm -hmm. like this. I think collectively, we, have, we are sick of being told that we are not good enough the way that we look. Yeah. And so as a result, when we see images like Jolene's, these kind of raw, unfiltered images of women looking happy and healthy and yes, having a roll or a stretch mark um, or, a, or cellulite, or when we see the images now, we have more diversity in shape and right. beauty in magazines and in ads, I think that we feel happy and vindicated. Yeah. I don't know how it is for, for, for guys, I mean, for women, I, I can remember being young and somebody commenting about my body. Yes. And, and, and mm -hmm. it stays with you. And, I and think from every early, woman. From an early age as women, as girls, we're, it's, it's talked about. Yeah, I think, from, I think we all can remember the first time someone commented. Or, do you remember? I do. I remember when I was in grade school, someone, a, a boy calling me a cow. A cow? A cow, yes. In the fourth I, grade. In the fourth grade, and who knows what he meant, you know? Yeah. But um, I think we all remember that time, and whether it leads to a dis an eating disorder or disordered mm. eating like what Jolene was going through, mm. or whether it doesn't affect you, I think it depends on a variety of factors. Well, I'm so appreciative of Jolene sharing her story as she has, and she talked about how she realizes um, she appreciates her body for what it is and all that it, that it does for her. Sure. So what are other ways that we can, uh, can look at our body and, and change our mindset? So I think one thing to keep in mind is remember that when you look on social media, everything mm. is it's heavily curated by whoever's posting. And filtered. And filtered <laughs> and photoshopped and mm. airbrushed. And so, you know, remember nothing you see is that real. People aren't posting their first, first photo, they're posting okay. their fifth or their 50th. And people want to see real images. I mean, actually, the cover of Women's Health magazine this month has a woman named Emily Skye in it who is a top fitness influencer, and she has amassed 13 million followers by posting posed versus unposed pictures, pictures of cellulite and zits, even though she is just this incredible looking woman. Yeah, and I follow Ashley Graham, and she's the same way. Ashley Graham yes, is just someone yes, who's beautiful, she's wonderful. and she just says, this is who I am, and she doesn't care, uh, you know, what people, what people say, and, and it's just so uplifting that people, especially women, are going, this is my body, and we can have babies, and we can yeah. run companies, Whatever and we, we, can do, yes. we can do a lot of stuff with these bodies. <laughs>